and be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and I hope you guys enjoy. Right, so today what we are going to do is we are, we are going to unbox and test out the three inch compact cut tool kit it was on sale for $150 I believe if, uh, last month. So this is actually a good kit. It comes with a four amp hour battery, charger, a fuel bag, and uh, the tool itself and a few accessories. So we are going to unbox this and test this out. So the model number for this is 2522-21XCH. I believe that is the model number for the kit. So let's unbox this and test this out. Go, there we go. Now I did want a fuel bag and now I have one. The fuel bags are a little bit bigger and not nicer than the old, the older ones that are not fuel. So after the bag, the box is empty. So this goes to recycling. Alrighty, so of course you get instructions for the tool, and you also get their catalog. You get the charger, M12 charger, which like I said, this charger is pointless because they already have a charger that does the M18 and M12. So it's like, why waste your uh, the time on this charger? And you might as well just have both chargers, the, the dual charger in every kit. It's like this charger is pointless. I'm not. I am not a fan of this charger because it's bit. It's a, a, almost the same size as the dual charger. So, if this was a, a quarter of the size, I I would like this charger as well uh, too. But it's not. It's almost the same size as the M18 and M12 charger together. All right. So you get a few accessories with this. You do get uh, a dust. A dust attachment to where you could put a, a hose on there and then ha uh, vacuum it out. So that's a good thing and a, uh, it does have a clear window so you could see what you're cutting. Uh, they said this, guess it does. Now this is a three inch uh, cutter. So it does come with uh, Allen key and an insert. Four amp hour battery. Brand new. Now I already have a four amp hour battery here ready to go. I'm going to put this one on charge. We're going to use my pre existing one. Inserts, inserts. We get, uh, you, it actually comes with a couple of wheels. Comes with a diamond tipped wheel. This, yeah, sorry, this is the diamond. This is the, uh, the carbide abrasive, and you get a regular metal cutoff. So you get, like I said, you get three blades or three wheels, and there they are. Then last but not least is the tool. Now this tool, it actually is not that big, but I like the way that that I like the way that that is. That's awesome. So this is model number uh, 2522-20. 20,000 RPMs, it does 3 eighths or 7 sixteenths arbor. It does have an LED light right there for your work area. And it, yep, there is a lock and unlocking that. That's actually quiet. That's quiet. Of course, once you have the wheel on a material, it's going to you know, noise is going to go majorly up, but for the motor itself, it's quiet. I like that. I believe this is a rotating head. So it go, that's the max that goes one direction. And that's the max that goes to that direction. Yeah. Yeah, I take that off first. We are going to put the dust wheel on. Yep, you want to take, see, that's why you want to take the battery out for that. So I, I guess to put this on. It's common sense. Put that like that. And that just goes in like that. And that that's actually that's now that, that's locked in there. That's yeah, that's locked in there now. So then just to take this off like that. 
That, that's a unique design. I like that. So yeah, this just slides on. Just like that. Fantastic. Then you could put it back on like that, then you're good to go. I like that though, that's awesome. That is awesome. But I think to put a new blade on, yes. To put a new blade on, you actually need to take this off. Then you could put the blade on. All right, so first we're gonna test out the just the metal cutoff. Just like anything else, it is the exact opposite. Lefty, uh, tidy, righty, loosey. It's always like that for circular saw blades. Have that all the way back, I think, then it should be good. There we go, so now that's locked in. Very good. Let's test this out. I like that, that thing is, that thing is awesome. All right, so let's test this out. All right, and remember when you wear uh, when you work, wear gloves and safety glasses, especially when you're cutting metal. All right, we have a 26 uh, gauge piece of metal here. It's simple, like even shear cutters with hand shear cutters uh, can cut this, but we're gonna just test this out, see how easily this does. All right, so battery is full. There is a battery gauge right up here. So battery is full. This thing is seriously awesome. Like when it comes to the, the batteries, it makes it look like a full real tool instead of like, like if you have it here, it does not look complete. But with a battery, it actually looks like a legitimate beefy tool. So let's see how this performs. It actually seemed like 26 gauge is a proper thickness to test this out on. Now let's do one more. It's doing a fantastic job. Let's do one more. Time. It's not bad. It did a nice uh, fine cut. Not much shearing. Yeah, it's a, it's actually a pretty clean cut. Pretty clean cut. Not bad at all. I'm not sure if it will be because of, you know, it's not as thick as a regular cutting wheel. So I'm not sure on how well it would do against one inch black steel pipe. I mean, it'll cut through if you just keep on rotating, but I'm not sure if the wheel will be able to take it. But let's find out. All right, so I got the black steel right here. We are going to, uh, I, I I do think I will have to rotate this as I go, just because it will not be able to cut all the way through. All right, so ready, go. Let's do reverse. Shoot the stuff that way. Yeah, because of the size of the wheel, I think it's having major issues. I think it's having major issues. Yeah. Yeah, that's that. Let's rotate it. And remember, we're just using a standard metal cutoff. All right, so let's continue. Battery is at two bars.
Yeah, I like the window. I like the I like that window. You can see what's going on. That's smart. Able to do it. It was able to do it. Fantastic. So this thing is proving to be like worth the, the money 100%. That having that window right there is freaking awesome. That's a, that helps out so much having that window right there, which Milwaukee was smart putting that there. And so, like I said, you have the LED light right there. This, uh, this little, this little guy is awesome. Let's see how well this does. Bring this in a little bit more. Alrighty, so when it comes to using this specific tool, you're, you're gonna want this off for when it comes to cutting tile, because you're gonna wanna see your work area. All right, so we are gonna do a real test on this. Let's actually lock this in place. Right, so we're gonna cut this little rectangle piece out. go now obviously i won't be this you don't, don't want to be this high because whenever you actually cut the piece out it will just break off and shatter on the ground so this is a quarter inch it actually did a pretty good job battery is at still two bars so yeah this thing's awesome this thing is awesome so as you can see it did cut it easily this thing did a fantastic job. And like I said, when it comes to cutting tile, you're gonna want this off. I love how that just easily locks in there. That's an easy installation, that's awesome. And to take it out, it's just as easy. You just gotta push the button and you're done. Awesome, this thing is amazing. So when it comes to this tool, it is a very handy little tool. It is brushless powered by the fuel system for a small compact tile slash metal cutter. You could also cut wood. This is actually a very useful little tool. It is not that loud at all. You know what, of course, the Milwaukee M12 system has a six amp hour battery, four amp hour, three, two, and 1.5. So you have a good variety of batteries that you can use with this. And uh, this thing's awesome. It comes with four, it has a forward and reverse. That is reverse, that's forward, but you know, it's good to get into little spots, you know, in case you don't have room for a full-sized uh, angle grinder, you have a little guy to take care of those issues, and you also could do small stuff, including cutting quarter-inch tile. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to unbox this to test this out really quick to see if it's able to do what I wanted to do. Please like this video, please subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. So this is Dave Nicholas, thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time.